hello everyone welcome to my channel this is a continuation video of my previous video you can refer to that so in my previous video i have discussed about the control statement if else and for uh, tag and today we are going to discuss about comments filters etc so just as in html or in any programming language such as python the django template language allows for comment statements so to we write the comment statement by using two hash symbols like this and within the flower brackets so uh, the comment statements this is this is the syntax what we follow so the comment will not be output when the template is rendered so a, com a comment cannot span multiple lines like how we have single line and multi line comment statements in z language here it does not uh, support multi line statements so this limitation improves template parsing performance the following template the rendered output will look exactly the same way as the template for example this program you see here guys from django dot template import template comma context we have given display equal to some string this is a so we have given the string here the comment statements though this is a syntax we should follow to represent the comment statements here like this it should be within this tags so we have put this is not a comment so this is a test and t equal to template of display and t dot render of context so when i run this i'll get the output as this is a test so this comment statement will not be displayed and next is filters so template filters are simple ways of altering the value of variables before they are displayed filters look like this see now you can see name the pipeline character or followed by lower it means that to convert the name to lower case so this displays the value of name variable after being filtered through the lower filter which converts text to lower case so we use a pipe to apply a filter so this is an example code from django dot template import template comma context and this is some string s yes, we have taken here and template t equal to see here in the template i am uh, passing the string i am applying the filter here yes or that is the pipeline character followed by lower t dot render of context yes dot this yes yes is the variable name here taken and this is the value object we are passing here so you will get now here it's lower means everything is in upper case here and this will be converted to lower case and then it will be displayed so that will be the output and also filters can also be changed that is the output of one filter is applied to the next that is how to show that we can truncate how to truncate here see this example the same example and how we have passed here the filter uh, this uh, truncate this lower converter this filter is passed as an input for this and it is truncating how many characters 20 characters okay guys and next is add slashes this add slashes adds a backslash before any backslash or single quote or double quote this is useful if the produced text is included in a javascript string similarly we have a date and uh, formats a date or a date time object according to a format string given in the parameter so how we want to how we want to format the date with the help of this date tag also we can do that so this is an example what we have given shown here just you can uh, use any of this uh, a parameter to display the date and uh, django also supports escape that is uh, escapes ampersands quotes and angle brackets in the given string this is useful for sanitizing user submitted data and for ensuring data is valid xml or html especially escape makes these conversions for example if you have converts if you have ampersand if you have used it will uh, rewrite it as amp amp if we have used less than converts to ampersand lt greater than symbol we have used mean converts to ampersand gt if i have used double quotes i'll get ampersand quote single quote to hash 39 like this it escapes the meaning of that and length returns the length of the value you can use this on a list or a string length like how we use in python length then coming for it's a very important question what are the philosophies and limitations of uh, django here so here web development is done at world uh, online and the combined experience of django's creator so here are a few of those philosophies that is business logic should be separated from presentation logic 
okay so we see a template system as a tool that controls presentation and presentation related logic and that's it so the template system should not support the functionality that goes beyond the basic goal so for this reason it's impossible to call python code directly within the django template so because we want to separate the business logic from the presentation logic and second is syntax should be decoupled from html or xml that is template languages other than the django or xml based placing all template logic within xml tags or attributes but uh, django avoids this limitation we cannot place all the xml tags or html tags in the django and designers are assumed to be comfortable with html codes and django expects template authors to be comfortable in editing the html directly and designers are assumed not to be the python programmers because the template system authors recognize the web page templates are most often written by the designers not by the programmers and therefore should not assume python knowledge so the designers should not no need to have any python knowledge then the goal is not to invent a programming language the goal is to offer just enough programming functionality such as branching and looping that is essential for making presentation related decision coming for limitations a template cannot set a variable or change the value of a variable and a template cannot call raw python code so these are the two limitations and you can expect this question for the exam that is the philosophies and limitations of the uh, django templates hope you understood please don't forget to subscribe like share and comment in next video i'm going to discuss how to use templates in views thank you all